Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this problem from Code Forces problem named vacation. It's a very like important type and very basic uh, dynamic programming problem. So if you understand this, it will be more helpful to solve more dynamic programming problems, which I will be posting uh, more over in this channel. Okay, so the question statement states that Vasya has end days of vacations. So he decided to improve his IT skills and do sports. Okay. Vasya knows the following information about each of the end days, whether the gym opened and whether a contest can be carried out in the internet on that day. For the I day, there are four options. So there are four options as that on any day, whether the gym is closed and the contest is not taken, the gym is closed and the contest is carried out uh, and so on. There are four options as you can see. So on each day, Vasya can either have a rest or write a contest or do a sport. Okay. Okay. So now find the minimum number of days on which Vasya will have to rest. The only limitation that Vasya has, he does not want to do the same activity on two consecutive days. Means if he do like, if he will not do sport on two consecutive days and write the contest on two consecutive days, but he can rest on two consecutive days. Okay. Rest. He can like do continuously. On every day but he will not do sports on two continuous days and uh, like same for the contest so as you can see in the question they are given that there are four days and these are the conditions as you can see so if it means zero then there's on that day gym is closed and the contest is not carried out so I have taken it to the drawing board and to make it more clear to you so for every dynamic programming problem the main focus for you should be first to take from the start till the ith position what you can observe how can you fill okay so let's take this table in which till the ith day we want to see whether if we just rest what are the minimum number of days we can rest okay so if on the ith day if we do rest then what are the like the minimum number of days we have rested till now Okay, so it will be more clear if we just start filling it. So for the zero today, everything will be zero because we haven't done anything. Okay, so you initialize everything with zero. This. Okay, so now this is the order in which one means on this day, the gym is closed and the contest is carried out. So it means the contest is carried on the on this day, but you can you can rest on this day also but you cannot do Jimmy. Okay. So now let's assume we rest on this day because we can rest on any day. If we rest on this day, what is our main target? Our main target is because we rest on this day. What is the minimum number of rest we have done till now? Because now we add one to that number. So the minimum number of rest we have done now is just go one, uh, like one row above and see what is the minimum of all these trees. Because that will tell us in all the possible case in which it means that on the ith day I have given contest, on the ith day I have given gym, and I have on the ith day I have done rest. So if all these three conditions, the minimum of them shows what till now before this day, what is the minimum time I have rested? And I just add one to it. So the minimum of all of the, these three is zero only, and I add one to it, so the answer will become then one. It means on the ith day. If I do rest, then the maximum number of days or the minimum number of days on which I have rested is one. Okay. Now, because they, I can give a contest on this day. So if I give a contest on this day, what is the minimum number of days I have taken rest? So then because I cannot do consecutive contest, I can take the minimum of this because before this, what is the minimum number of days I have rested? given that I have either done rest or either done gym. So if I either done gym, then the minimum number of days is this. And if I done rest, then the minimum number of days I have rested is this. So I will take the minimum of both of them. And so the answer is zero, which will tell us that if I have done on the first day contest, the minimum number of days I have uh, like taken rest is zero because I have not taken rest because this is the first day and on the first day I have given the contest how many days I have rested zero 
and now for the gym part because we are not allowed to do gym then we should rest because this condition is not possible so what we can do is we can add one to it so just take the above one which tell us that the, the minimum number of days i have done before this in which i have like i have done gym so because i have not done gym i will rest on this day so why can i do i can take this above element and just add one to it okay now move to three on three for the rest day it's always the same i i will find out the minimum of all of them and i will add one to it so now what does this mean such that if there are two days on which there is one and three and the minimum of rest we will do is one because i can do a contest on the first day and then i can do a rest on the second day this this will tell us this direction it means that i can do a contest on the first day and then i will do a rest on this like the second day such so that i can do a minimum of rest is equal to 1 okay now if i equal to 3 it means i can do a gym on that day or a contest on that day also so if i do a contest on that day then what can i do i will take the minimum of all those so that is 1 which can easily tell us that i can either do the gym on the first day or the rest on the first day and then if i take the minimum and then i do a contest on this day the minimum number of sleep or the rest i have done is one because if i take a rest and this also means that i have taken rest then the minimum number of days i have taken rest is one because on the second day i have done contest okay and if i also taken the gym then i'll take the minimum of these two which is zero and one so i will it is zero so it was it is telling us that i can first do the contest on the first day and then on the second day i can do gym and thus the minimum and thus the minimum number of days i have taken rest is zero because i have take, not taken rest on any day i hope you understanding how i am feeling this now for this two now the gym is open the gym is open i will take the minimum of these two which is one for the minimum of these two plus one it's it's again one and for the contest because the contest is not taken out i will take this and add one it will become two and for the last day because it is only that we can on the last day everything is close so i will take the above one add one to it it will become 3 take the above one add to it it will become 2 and take the minimum of all those three which is 1 plus 1 so now it become 2 so these are the minimum possible cases at the end of the all those days in which the minimum number of days i have rested is the minimum of all those three which is 2 so that's the answer the minimum of is 2 so i hope you understand the logic so now i'll move to the code now so the code is also more pretty simple so because the length of uh, a is up, like the n is 10 to about or like around 100 so i have taken the vector of a from 105 and i have also given him three columns then take the input of n and also taken the input of k which means for which day i have to do what so what i can do is because everything is initialized here with the first 0 comma 0 this is in slice to be 0 0 0 which i have told you now i will take my from 1 till n from the first value so for the first value what will i do is for the a i 0 it is just the minimum of the above row for all the entries plus 1 if k is equal to 1 or k equal to 3 in which i can do a contest then what can i do if k is equal to 1 or k equal to 3 how the second entry will fill the minimum of this else if it is 0 or 2 then we will take the above element and plus 1 and same for the gym part and then in the answer we will print the minimum of all the entries in the last row i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video i will be posting more videos more frequently so stay tuned keep coding bye